guys, what's up? This is Plays the Movie Fan and today I will be reviewing a movie that people have requested me to review in years. And that movie is The Brave Little Toaster. So anyway, without further ado, let's begin. The plot of this movie is basically inanimated objects in an abandoned house go to the city to look for their owner. Now I'm of course going to start by talking about the characters. First of all, I'm going to talk about the toaster played by Diana Oliver. Now the toaster is the protagonist of the movie and I could admit he is a fucking awesome protagonist. He is the one who originally gets the idea of looking for the fucking owner. And you know what? He's very fucking brave. I guess that's the reason why the movie is called The Brave Little Toaster. No matter what happens, he doesn't give up on his journey to find his fucking master. And that's beyond fucking awesome. And he's also very nice and usually when the other objects fight, he tries to settle it down. And the next character that I'm going to talk about is the radio played by John Lovitz. Now the radio is... The funniest aspect of the movie. I fucking love how the radio talks like broadcasts. But it's a radio so it makes sense. But yeah, I find a lot of the random lines that the radio says to be so fucking funny. And the next character that I'm gonna talk about is Kirby, played by Sir Ravenscraft. Surprisingly, Kirby is the only inanimate object that doesn't have the name of the inanimate objects that it is. But he is the grumpy one. He is very fucking negative. But he is nowhere near being a selfish con. In fact, despite how negative he is, he still cares a lot about the others and tries to save their lives a couple of times in the movie. Speaking of lives, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the fact that this movie is so fucking scary. And I mean really, it's the second scariest anime that this movie I can think of with the Hunchback of Notre Dame being the scariest. What makes this movie so fucking scary is the fact that the characters of the movie are in near death situations throughout the fucking movie. There was always a good chance that they might fucking die. And you know what, that's a great thing because that makes me root for the characters even more. Now that this is a Disney animated movie, of course there are some fucking songs. That was just common in Disney animated movies back then. But I'm sorry to say, but I find all of these songs to be bland and forgettable. Thankfully though, it's an incredibly minor flaw I have with the movie. Since good songs are not what makes a good movie, a good story does. And that's of course what this movie has. One last thing to say before I get to my overall thoughts. This movie is kinda like the movie Toy Story. I mean both movies are about inanimate objects that talk and move around when humans are not around. Now I think that Toy Story is a superior movie in almost every way. But there is one thing though that this movie did better than Toy Story. It's a lot more believable that humans don't notice these inanimate objects being alive than it is in the Toy Story movies. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Even though I wouldn't say that this is an absolutely fantastic movie, I would still say that it's a great movie and I enjoyed watching it a lot. And since I have no real issues with it, I'm gonna give the rating two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I've got to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.